Hello, welcome to another Wine with Tweedy video. I thought I'd come to Primrose Hill for a change. My uh, usual London skyline viewpoint, which is of course Parliament Hill on Hampstead Heath, but uh, I find myself in this part of town, not least because I have gone to buy vegan fried chicken, which sounds like a contradiction in terms, but it is apparently a thing. And I'm gonna sit here, eat some deep fried plant-based junk food and drink some English sparkling. Okay, so today's wine, chilling apparatus is not great. I think I'm just gonna have to drink this quickly. I'm sat in the shade, so that'll probably help. This is from Thurley Estate. Yeah, uh, is that in shot? Dorset Coast Special Reserve. Doesn't have a vintage, non-vintage, special reserve. I suppose that's a blend of different vintages then. In the unlikely event you're interested in the uh, <laughs> contents of my lunch. Uh, popcorn chicken. Wonderful. And in here, wonderfully branded box. Vegan Parmesan garlic wings. Mm. So I've got this wine. What do we have? Nice sort of soft kind of lemony primary fruit character. Something in a slightly patisserie department there. Possibly kind of gentle, cakey sort of madeleine kind of. Nice and crisp. That's going to be a, a great foil, as people say, in <laughs> stupid tasting notes, wine pairing notes to that deep fried food. Yeah, it's got that kind of nice sort of minerality you would hope for in um, something from that presumably quite chalky soil. It's on the uh, near the Dorset coast, oolitic limestone. Yeah, that's nice. Give you a view of my lunch and the view just about get that all in shot. Somewhat by chance, I found um, actually a lovely spot on Primrose Hill. It may not have the absolute best view of the London skyline, although I can see a bit. I'm not right at the top. But, um, my rationale for sitting here was largely that it's still surprisingly hot. We're, um, we're now in the latter half of September and the forecast is to go up to 27 degrees centigrade today, which, uh, which is pretty warm, very warm for September in London. So, uh, I, you know, would have been nice to sit right at the top and enjoy the view at its best, but there's no shade up there and it's also quite busy. So just here I've got, um, actually feels like a, a miniature hawthorn grove. Uh, there's two, three, four hawthorn trees there with the haws, uh, haw berries on them, a little baby or adolescent oak tree over there. Another venerable hawthorn tree just to my right so um and it's um it's shady and you know because it's not right at the top and doesn't have quite the perfect view it's pretty quiet here which is which is very nice i'm i'm struggling to find a lot out about this uh Furley estate dorset coast i bought it from waitrose cellar i've got a feeling it might actually be a sort of special one-off just for, for them, it doesn't have any Waitrose branding on the label, but on Foley Estate's own website, there's very little information about this. It's, it's pretty nice, um, and uh, the, the price is very good, I think $24.99, and possibly I even had a 25% discount on that mixed case as well, so um, even less than that, coming in around £20, which by English sparkling standards is an absolute bargain, because it is it is actually champagne grapes. They're often a bit cheaper if they're uh, made with non-champagne grapes like Cheval Blanc, for example. But um, so I think this is 
Chardonnay dominant. I can't get. I can't seem to find the stats, uh, the, the, the breakdown anywhere on the percentages of Pinot Noir versus Pinot Meunier. But I'm guessing from the style, it's pretty Chardonnay dominant. There is a, a bit of a druidic slash pagan air to Primrose Hill. In 1792, this was the site of the first meeting of the Gorseth of the Bards of the British Isles, organised by Yolo Morganwich. I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. The uh, Gorseth being a Welsh word for community of bards. Uh, the, you, you could possibly attribute this as being a you know, fairly pivotal spot in the renaissance of modern paganism. Is that called neo-paganism in the British Isles? In, of all places, you know, not somewhere not that far from central London, here on Primrose Hill. Okay, well, sounds like it's time to leave. <laughs> Ridiculous for a city park. Hashtag leave no trace. I'll uh, head out through the hawthorn trees here. They're looking just delightful. I'm guessing your average Primrose Hill goer doesn't really uh, have a deep appreciation of hawthorn trees, but they're just they're beautiful. Sort of this sense of um, nature always kind of finds a way somehow. Anyway, hope that was of uh, some vague interest. <laughs> Thanks for watching. See you on the next one. Bye bye.